Hello my compassionate friends. Today we're going to be taking a short trip to India, but in my kitchen. <laughs> so we're going to be making Kadai Tofu Masala. Uh, if you don't want to use tofu, you can use seitan, you can use tempeh, you can use Burmese tofu, which is a chickpea based type of tofu. And um, this sauce is predominantly based of tomatoes and onions and some peppers and all those exotic spices from India. So let's get this started, guys. So to begin, you're going to need extra firm tofu. I just took the liquid out. I did not press it. I did not freeze it. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened the package and we're going to cut it up. If you want to freeze it, you're welcome to. If you want to chew your texture, um, or if you want to press it, that's totally up to you. But honestly, there's no need to do that. All you got to do is just grab it into your, between your hands and just squeeze some of the liquid out. Just a little bit. I mean, this is going to simmer in the sauce. So it's going to be just fine. So I'm going to lay it this way. Cut it right in the middle. Guys, cut it however you like. This is how I cut my tofu for the most part. Especially for, like when I'm making you know, tofu in a curry sauce or, or in a masala or I tend to cut it a little smaller so the pieces can be a little thinner and they will absorb more of the sauce. So I'm just cutting it four ways this way horizontally and four and three ways vertically. So I end up with small pieces like this. Then I have an air fryer. So I'm going to put this in my air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, I suggest you fry it. And if you do have an air fryer, I'm going to put it at 370 degrees for a good 10 minutes. That'll give me a nice crispy crust on the, on, on the tofu. So let me get this started and uh, we'll go to the next step. So here we are. <clears throat> My tofu has come out of the air fryer. That's what it looks like. And I have here a taste, a tablespoon of canola oil. You can use any type of oil you want. I have here a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm gonna get these babies started here. Want them to brown. So they're, they started browning already. I have here an inch of ginger and three garlic cloves. Put that in here. Smells so good. One large onion. Sprinkle just a little bit of salt, it helps break the onions down. I have a uh, medium green pepper. That's the unique thing about this fish. A lot of Indian dishes don't have peppers, green peppers in them. They have hot peppers, but not like actual green peppers in them. That must be the uh, European influence that they had in India. Okay. Now, normally some Indian people would throw the spices in here before they throw the onions and stuff, but I like throwing my spices after. I don't like my other spices to like get bitter. So I have here a half a teaspoon of, of uh, fenugreek powder, I have a teaspoon of coriander powder, I have a teaspoon of cumin powder, I have a teaspoon of turmeric, and I have a teaspoon of cardamom. And I'm not sure if I said, uh, 
half a teaspoon of cumin also. I'm not sure if I said that. So those are your spices there. Get that to bloom real nice. And now I'm gonna throw in my tomato. And I'm gonna put in about a half a, just probably about a half a cup of water, because I want this to simmer. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and cover this. And I'm going to let this simmer for a good 5 10 minutes. All right? So here we are. <clears throat> it's uh see how it's fallen started to come apart. Isn't that a beautiful color? <laughs> so what I like doing, you can leave it this way if you want, but I like I like grinding it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this up and I'll be back. So here we are. See I just I leave some chunks in it, but I just like it a little more creamy. So after I ground it up, that's what it looks like. So at this point, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of garam garam masala. Garam masala. I could never pronounce that word, sorry guys. Put a teaspoon of that in there. And now I'm going to nestle my tofu in here. I'll let it simmer for five minutes on one side and a few minutes on the other, and then I'll flip the tofu so it can get smothered in the sauce. Okay. Cover it up, let it simmer five minutes. We're almost done. So at this point, See how it's thickening up quite a bit? I'll go ahead and add my salt, which is about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. It's all to your liking. Stir it up. Taste it for salt. This is pretty much done. Let me go ahead and serve it up for you. So, in mi casa tu casa, here you are. Kadai tofu masala. Taste this little baby, you know. This is delicious. I really recommend you guys try this. It's really delicious. Um, guys, don't stress over condiments and stuff. If you don't have the cardamom, don't put it in. If you don't like cilantro, don't put it in. If you don't like um, cumin seeds, and put the cumin powder. Um, what I'm trying to get at is make it your own, have fun with the recipe. I'm just here giving you ideas on how to make certain types of dishes. Um, if you don't have, like I said earlier, you don't have ginger, fresh ginger or fresh garlic, use ginger powder or ginger or garlic powder. I mean, make it your own guys. So anyway, thanks for tuning in as always. Um, de mi casa a tu casa, con mucho cariño. Thanks and vagina everyone. Peace.